What's up everybody? Travis here from Travis.media. Today I want to show you a tool that I use on a daily basis to manage Docker better. So you might be new to Docker, maybe they just asked you at work to start doing some Docker stuff. Maybe it's a hobby at home, you're just learning Docker. Whatever it is, it can be a bit confusing at first. Now this is not a video that explains how to install Docker or the basics of Docker like images and containers and layers and things like that. I'm assuming you already know that. If you want to see a video like that, let me know down in the comments, I'll do it. But in this video, I want to show you a tool that just makes managing all of that easier. All right, so before we get started, if you're into web development, coding, if you're learning to code, if you're into freelancing, conquering life in general, consider hitting that subscribe button below. There's lots of great videos on the way. So if you're new to Docker, you may have gone to Docker Hub, pulled some image, and then you're kind of like, where's my image at? I pulled it, where's it at? And somebody goes, hey, just run Docker images like this. Docker images, there's your images. And then you're like, well, what do I do with this image? How do I run it? Well, you got to look up the command to run the image that spins up the container. And then you're like, well, I got to also get in that container, make a few tweaks. And you're like, how do I do that? And they're like, oh, that's another command you got to look up. So for me, it's 2020. I love the terminal and I do a lot in the command line. But when I have some kind of interface that makes it easier, I'm quick to grab it. And I found one that I use on a daily basis to manage all of this Docker stuff. And it's one that millions of people use already. It's called VS Code. And they have a wonderful, wonderful extension for managing all of this. Let me show you what I mean. So if you open VS Code and you go over here to the extensions and you type in Docker, it's going to be the first pick. Okay, it's by Microsoft. It's like 3.6 million downloads. You can't miss it. Download this extension first. After doing that, you'll see this little Docker image over here to the left. Click that and voila, you have everything you need here. You can see all of your running or stopped containers. You can see all of your images. You can see registries, volumes, all of that good stuff right here in VS Code. So for me, that's super valuable. But let me show you some other things that, that make this just absolutely wonderful. So let me close that. All right, so I've created just a really basic Express.js app, right? So here's index.html, and I'm using Tailwind CSS. I'm just, using, I'm just displaying one of their little built-in cards on the page. That's all this app is. Um, here's the server.js. I'm on port 881. And here's the Docker file. And the Docker file is very, very basic. I'm just grabbing the node image. I'm creating the work directory. I'm copying my package.json there. I'm doing an npm install to install my node modules. And I'm copying my app files. I'm exposing the port 8081 and I'm running the command node server.js. That's all this Docker file does. And it builds my image. Now, how do you do that? Well, you got to go to the Docker documentation. You got to look up Docker build and, and find out all the little commands. But with VS Code, it's much, much easier. Let me show you how easy this is to build this image. So if you open your palette, which on the Mac is Shift Command P, you're going to type in Docker now that you have the extension. And you're going to see this Docker images build image. Click on that. Then it asks you to tag the image. So I'm just going to leave it Express Docker colon latest. I'm going to hit enter and it's going to start building my image. And I'll check this out. All right, so I've already pre-built it, so it's, it's all cached there. So here's my step, one through seven. It built successfully. If you come up here, you'll see the command they use, docker build, here's a couple of flags, docker file, and then it tags it with the tag we gave it, and current directory. So say you wanted to tweak something in that, it's as simple as just coming down here, hitting the up button, and then changing whatever you need. But I don't need to change anything. VS Code built it successfully. Now, if I come over here and I look under images, I should now have this Express Docker image. And there it is, Express Docker. If I open that, it says, here's the tag. It's the latest from a few seconds ago. If I refresh that, it's like six minutes ago because I built it, I think, before I started doing this video, and it hasn't changed since then. So it still has that image. So now I need to build this image. How do I run it? How do I spin up this container? Well, you need to go back to the Docker documentation and look up Docker run. But if you got VS Code, you don't have to. Check this out. I just bring up that little command palette again and I type in Docker and I'm gonna look for Docker images run. Look at this, here's the command. Docker images run. I wanna select what I wanna run and I wanna run Express Docker. Let me click that. I wanna run the latest. And here it is, Docker run. 
As soon as I do that up here under containers, I'm going to see that now I have a running container. Express Docker is now running. You'll see here the command they use to run that if you need to tweak it. And so now Air Container is running. How do I now pull that up in a web page? Well, my port is 8081, so obviously I could do a local host 8081. But it's much easier just to go to the container, right click, go to open in browser, and watch this. Boom. There's my app right there. So I built the image, I ran the image, and I opened it up in my browser all from VS Code without having to touch the command line. So let's say, hey, well, as soon as this is done, I need to tweak some files inside of the container. Um, how do you do that? Well, you got to look up the Docker exec command. But you don't need to. Again, we got VS Code. Come here to VS Code. You can right click and go to attach shell. Click that. It's going to run this. And uh, if you're on a PC, it actually errors out. But if you erase all of this to this point and just type in bash instead of all of that, it runs. But right here, I'm inside the app. So I can hit ls, lsa to see everything. Um, and I see I have my files here. I can go back one. And there's my app directory that I built. See that app? So if I need to jump in here and tweak any files, I can tweak it. So that's really all I wanted to show you today. If you're having trouble with Docker, you're having trouble wrapping your head around it, try doing everything from VS Code from this Docker extension. You got your containers, you have your images. For me, I use it daily. I love this option. I can see all of my images and I can do what I need to do. If I pull something from Docker Hub, it's right here. I can go and do what I need to do. So I hope that helps you a little bit if you're a Docker newbie. If you're a Docker expert and you're like, this dude, you know, whatever. If you're a Docker newbie, I hope this helps you. Or if this just helps you in your Docker workflow at all, great. VS Code to the rescue. Again, consider subscribing to this channel. I got a lot planned for 2020. And as always, thank you for watching my video. Have a wonderful day.